We are building a railroad to space. Let's take a journey into the future and explore how humanity will travel through the cosmos. Kinetic launchers are operational. Spin launch throws small uncrewed spacecraft into low Earth orbit without the use of rocket fuel. Electric ion engines, creating thrust by electrically charging a gas, become more powerful and are used to power the Lunar Gateway space station. Humanity watches as larger and larger space structures are built. Rockets launch, deploying expandable and inflatable payloads. An entire space station is sent into space in a single launch. The International Space Station deorbits, burning up in Earth's atmosphere and crashing into the ocean. SpaceX begins launching the basic building blocks of their orbiting fuel station. The age of orbital refueling advances. The depot cryogenically stores fuel and will soon store mechanical spare parts for spacecraft, allowing space vehicles to be maintained and repaired in Earth's orbit, never needing to land. This starts dividing spacecraft into two types, those that are designed to launch and land on Earth, with added heat shields, fuel storage, air brakes and parachutes, and those that are designed just for the vacuum of space. The building of SpaceX's fuel station also tests the working prototypes of the Starship Mark II, twice the diameter, with four times the amount of internal space than the first-generation Starship, large enough to be a space station itself. The Artemis moon base refuels a spacecraft, they are testing the first rocket fuel made on the moon. The first small-scaled nuclear fusion-powered spacecraft begins testing, producing energy without nuclear waste. Fuel is in the form of hydrogen isotopes. Hydrogen is present in the atmosphere of many planets and on asteroids. To create nuclear fusion, an environment like the center of the sun is needed, with extremely high temperatures and pressure. It is the gravitational forces of the Sun that squeezes the hydrogen together in the center, creating nuclear fusion. On a spacecraft, the fuel is heated into a plasma, then squeezed. Using either magnetic confinement in the form of large electromagnets, or by inertial confinement, using lasers and pistons to push and compress the fuel. A few kilograms of fuel could power the average home on Earth for about nine years. And for a spacecraft, fusion power will cut future travel times in half, while an advanced ultra-high energy fusion engine will propel a spacecraft to Mars and back in 45 to 75 days.